today we have a pretty cool opportunity. I'm actually just on the road for about an hour and a half north uh, to meet up with a viewer of the channel by the name of Jason. Jason is not an eBay seller, but he is a bit of a collector and he has a bunch of stuff that he's looking to offload and he didn't know how to go about offloading it. So he reached out to me and he said, look, did you want to just try and sell it for me and we'll do a bit of a consignment deal? And I'm always open to that sort of thing. So I said, absolutely. And uh, from the sounds of it, I think he's got some pretty sweet stuff. So I thought this was a great opportunity to turn the camera on, show you guys a bit of, I guess, the behind the scenes of a consignment deal. Uh, I'll unpack all the different items that we've got out of this haul and uh, give you a bit of an estimation to some of the value that's uh, associated with uh, Jason's collection because I think it's I think it's pretty solid. So we're only about 10, 15 minutes away. We may do some thrifting as well today. I'm not 100% sure, we'll see how we go. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get over to Jason's. Run. Yeah. Which is sweet. I got these from a guy from the States, but they already did they were gonna get them. And I paid paying auction two thirty four. I think they probably cost me like three hundred and fifty all up. Three fifty all up. But you could do your Googles on them and they're that size, they're they're worth money. Yeah. And nice that one as well with the authenticity guarantee sitting on it. Yeah, I've never. So what do you do? You can well, scan that. So what? No, well, this has already been pre pre done by eBay. So they basically don't go past eBay authentication. But every other shoe that isn't authenticated um, will go past literally a person sitting in a warehouse oh, wow. assessing um, whether it's oh, yeah. genuine or not. So that's what's going to be. Yeah, there's a there's a market for it. So then this is a in, in SB collecting. This probably box would be worth money because yeah. it's a. I mean, original boxes are always going to go massive, yeah. right? So these are uh, um, Paul Rodriguez. These are like all oh, the Rodriguez. These are like next level. Jeez, they're yeah. really. so and they'll never make any money. These are um, what year were they? I think it's two thousand four. That's that's nice. That's incredible. This I got this from a guy in the states with the Air Force Supreme. Did you? So he just put in a rep box. Oh yeah, these are ones. these are crazy, man. Oh, nice. So, I think I've taken off here so you can see. Where is it? Oh, wow. So, oh, there. Oh, the lights blank. But if you can see. Uh, yeah. Sample, yep. US 9. Yep. Made in Indonesia. So, most, most samples are. What year we got there? 2002. Oh, 02s. Because it's like a third person that buys it. Absolutely. These are supreme. It was, it was, okay, yeah. So these are crazy. So these are made out of ostrich meat. Oh wow. So these are from 2004 and these are actually a... Supreme, yeah. Yeah, wow. Not crazy. Oh nice. Yep. I tried to get another pair the other week of these but I bummed out. I offered him and then he went and did his Googles and I buggered up. I could have got another pair of these for... I think it was 320 Australian, which was probably about 350 all up. Yep. And now it's a, a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. my fault. But so nuts. What's that? I like these. So these are a Zoom Air EQ, but an Air EQ laser. Right. So these are like the fancy ones. So they were in. They had these silk like bags oh. that were over them, and yeah. obviously none of that. Fifteen oh eight one four. Two thousand and two. Two thousand two released. Yeah, sick. So two thousand and three and look brand new. Are you kidding me? I haven't even had a look in this yet. Look. Tag everything. Yeah. Sticker. Yeah. Well, yeah, but more yeah, than happy to um, throw them in the car and get research. And yeah, I'll send you what things cost me and we'll just work something out. Hundred percent. Well there we go guys, we've got a serious car full of shoes here. And he's nice enough, he's a butcher. He does his meats, high, high quality meats. 
and he's hooked your boy up with a serious feed. <laughs> One of the nicest guys I've ever met, Jason. I uh, didn't want to be on camera too much, um, so I couldn't promote his business. I said, do you want me to promote it? I'll put a link in the description. And he goes, no, no, no. He goes, just go and sell these shoes and we'll, uh, we'll split the difference. So I'm going to bounce back home. Another hour and a half's drive. Um, well worth it from the looks of it. I do want to break it down. I want to look into every single shoe, um, try and get some estimations on resale value um, and show you guys as well. There is an opportunity for you guys to buy any of these as well. So once we get back, unpack it. I can work out what the price points are going to be. I'll let you know at the end of the video. So let's shoot back home, start going through it. I think this is the best one here, to be honest with you. This is the sample shoe, um, the blue canvas mid samples from 2002. Um, so those ones there, he bought these for 550. So he's, he's trying to get his money back and then a little bit more if he can. Obviously he's splitting it in a consignment with me. So I'm gonna have to do some heavy research on these sorts of items just to see what we might be able to get for it in present day. Um, but look, original boxes for all of these shoes is fantastic. Um, we've got the LeBrons here as well. This is the Watch the Throne LeBron 9. Um, it's even got this little lace clip as well, which I thought was absolutely epic. Um, now these are worth about $220. They have been worn ever so slightly. Um, you can see there that they, they definitely have been worn, ever, you know, not, not too heavily, but um, they are in excellent condition. And there was a sale for $220 for these shoes. So you know, incredible purchase. Um, they should go on to sell well, given the fact that they've got their original box uh, as well. And there it is there, LeBron 9, uh, size 9 as well, in great condition with the box. Um, these are an interesting one. The Vans, we've got the Full Cab LX. These are the Dragon, the Dragon Pack. I've never heard of Bodega, so let me know if you guys have. There it is there, Bodega and Vans off the wall now. They are literally like new. They look really cool. So I think we should be able to get upwards of 200 to 250 for these from the looks of it. Um, not a lot of comps on eBay. That's the biggest thing about all of these sales, um, or shoes I should say, there isn't a lot of sales on eBay. So I'm gonna have my work cut out for me trying to work out how to price these up correctly and get the deal done. Um, but let's start, let's start basically going through some of these. I'll pull them out of box and I'll give you a bit of a breakdown on what some of them will work. I've just looked out all of the Air Force Ones and these shoes are absolutely incredible. Such a good size as well. 10 and a half, 10, 10, 9, 9. And then we've even got a pair of nine and a halves in the Air Force One Supremes. Uh, these here are definitely the best of the, uh, of the Air Force Ones. Uh, these ones were going for the last sale on StockX at 460. Um, so they're an absolute monster shoe, that one there. So a nine and a half. Don't know what year that one is. There's so much information that I've got to collate on all of this. These shoes are actually already eBay authenticated, which is pretty cool to see. Um, so these are the World Cup editions. I think they're 2006, and I think they've been selling on eBay for around about $200 each. Um, so with their original box, the fact that they are literally brand new, they've hardly been worn ever. Um, I think we can get about 220 to 250 on those shoes. Um, we've got these ones here as well. These are the premium mid 07s. Um, there was, I can't exactly remember. I think there was a good 200 odd dollars on those as well, maybe even more. Um, I think these are worth about 350, these Air Force Ones. These have a really cool little, check this out on the box on the inside. It's got Harlem Renaissance, big five. Um, so not 100% sure what any of that is. But um, yeah, a big, big collector's item, I think, in this shoe. And I think it does go for about 350 odd dollars. So that is an absolute monster. Uh, and then we've got here a pair of women's size 14 Air Force Ones as well. Uh, not 100% sure what they go for, but they look pretty clean. So there we go. That is a good look at all of the Air Force Ones. All up, we had six of them in total. Now I've got to say, my, my knowledge on all of this is really, really quite limited. I know that they're obviously high-end shoes. I've got no issues with them being um, a fake. They are completely genuine. They're great shoes and they will go on to sell well. There's just not a lot of comps on eBay to go by. You've kind of got to base it off StockX prices, which typically I don't usually do. But considering these are, are quite older style shoes, a lot of them are early 2000s, um, that's why you're not seeing too many comps. They are quite rare shoes. And for the right collector out there, um, they're going to really want to get their hands on these. So I don't exactly 100% know how to get, how to best go about it. I spoke to one of my mates 
um, Jalen, who does a lot of shoes himself. He, he's in the sneakerhead community. Um, and I, I've, I've sent him through a, basically a little list of all of these um, shoe names. And uh, I'm going to get him to shoot back what he thinks um, we should be able to get for them. And then he also said to me uh, there was a sneaker convention happening as well, uh, just locally in the area here on Saturday. And today being Thursday, it's a fantastic opportunity to head down there and see what some of these buy prices could potentially be. Um, so I am tempted to go and do that um, sneaker day as well on Saturday, um, just to get a bit of an awareness on price um, to make sure that we're getting the top dollar uh, for both Jason and myself. But that was the Air Force Ones. Let's have a quick look at the Paul Rodriguez shoes. All right, here we go. Paul Rodriguez. These are the black cement, the Paul Rodriguez 2s. Um, look, big, big shoe, this one here. This will go for a few hundred bucks, no doubt about it. There was some StockX pricing around about six to $700. Um, eBay, look, who knows? There's just not a lot of comps out there for these shoes. So I'd be very curious to get your thoughts on a pair of Paul Rodriguez Zoom 2 Air 9.5s, black cement. Um, dead stock, never been worn. Pretty, pretty unreal. Even got the new laces sitting in there too. Um, we've got these as well. These are actually a really sweet pair. This is the LA Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers MLB colorway edition of the Rodriguez Air Zoom Low, uh, a size uh, 10 and a half men's uh, from 2006. So should be a couple of hundred bucks in value on that one there. And then these ones are slightly more cheaper, um, these Paul Rodriguez, but again, never been worn. Uh, a massive size 13 as well on those. So uh, these shoes are definitely, I think, sought after for sure. Paul Rodriguez, big brand in the Nike SB. Um, so yeah, cool to see those as well. Next up, we have some Blazer Lows. Uh, these are the Pro GT PRM. Um, brand new, obviously, there too. Realtree Escape. Um, size 11 and a half and a size nine and a half, both of the same colorway as well. So we'll have to have a check to see what we can get for these, uh, but it might be a couple of hundred bucks as well. I think all of them are literally gonna be worth a few hundred dollars each, so pretty insane. Next up, we have the Nike Air Zoom EQs. So again, these ones here, size nine, but they have also been eBay authenticated as well. So um, another monster shoe, some serious comps on eBay for this thing and being a brand new shoe as well. Um, 2002, this shoe was released. So crazy vintage on those. And then these ones as well, just a different colorway. Um, they are a size eight. Uh, so we've got a size eight and a size nine. Authenticated, not yet authenticated, but definitely genuine. Um, Never seen them before, actually, to be fair. Have never, ever seen them before, but the comps on eBay were telling me pretty good things. We've got some Air Angus as well up here. Uh, so these are pretty cool. They do look like they potentially have, yes, they've definitely been worn, these ones. So pre-owned condition on these. Um, the Air Angus from 2002, I think, as well. Um, super old school on those. Um, we've got some more modern day uh, MX ones. These were from 2023, so just last year. Um, but again, never been worn. There were comps on eBay going for about 180 odd dollars for those. I think they're a big uh, women's size 14. Yeah, they are women's size 14, a men's 12 and a half. Uh, on those. They could actually potentially fit me, which would be quite cool. Um, but that's pretty much everything, guys. There's some Mac attacks. I think they are down there as well. Um, so we've got a lot of shoes that we need to try and sell. Now, for full transparency, uh, Jason and I are going to be doing a 50% split of the profits on these shoes. Uh, Jason does have a buy price that he obviously initially purchased the shoes for. Um, so we are going to be trying to get absolute top dollar on these just so that we can both make ourselves a little bit of money. Jason wants to try and get his money back on his initial buy price. And then I obviously want to make a couple of dollars for selling it on his behalf. Um, so I'm going to be in contact with Jason quite heavily throughout the sales of all of these shoes, just to make sure um, that we are both stoked with the deal. If you want one of these shoes or multiples of these shoes, they will be going on eBay on Monday. Um, that is Monday the 15th. Yeah, Monday the 15th of July. Um, so if you're watching this before Monday the 15th of July, they are just simply sitting in my garage and I'm happy to negotiate on a price point. So make sure you try and hit me up through Instagram, email, whatever the case may be. All that detail is in the description below. Uh, we'd love to be able to hook you guys up with some of these awesome shoes if you're a sneakerhead collector out there. Um, so do go ahead and hit me up. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. A bit of a run around today, but we've got some great stock. It's going up on Monday. Getting quick because I really do think all of these shoes are going to sell fast.